The Beretto 30SG is smaller than its big brother, the 37SG, but don't let that fool you. This stump grinder combines power and versatility into one incredible machine. The stump grinder's 134 degree head swing allows you to grind even the largest of stumps, and the intuitive controls make the process easy for any operator to learn and use. The stump grinder's counterbalance valves prevent track motors from slipping, even when operating on a slope, and the open build of the machine makes maintenance an easy task. All in all, the 30SG combines a robust design with maneuverability, making it the perfect choice for all your stump grinding jobs. General safety instructions. To use the 30SG, you must be over 18 years old and familiar with the operating controls as taught to you by someone with experience. You must also study the safety messages and instructions in the operator's manual. Pay attention to the safety decals fixed to the body of the grinder near specific hazard points. The 30SG must always be operated in full compliance with all state, local, and national regulations, including OSHA regulations. Always wear proper PPE while moving or operating the grinder. This includes eye protection, such as full face shield, hard hat, ear protection, boots, and gloves. If you're working near traffic, wear reflective clothes. Never wear loose-fitting clothing, jewelry, or anything which could get caught and keep head and facial hair pulled back while operating the machine. While moving or operating the cutter, stay clear of any moving parts, particularly the articulation area. The cutter wheel and other moving parts can amputate arms, legs, fingers, and cause serious injury or even death. Unless necessary, don't touch the cutter wheel even when the machine is not in use. Never leave the operating controls while the cutter wheel is in motion. Also, the cutter wheel may throw chips, rocks, and debris, so keep all observers or coworkers at a safe distance and use traffic flag personnel, signs, cones, and lighting devices to warn off traffic and pedestrians. Stop the machine immediately if anyone comes too close. Never allow anyone to ride on the machine. Always operate the machine outdoors and avoid breathing engine exhaust and fumes. Only operate when there's enough light, either natural or artificial, and allow for plenty of side and overhead clearance between the machine and buildings, fences, trees, and other obstacles. If grinding cannot be performed with adequate clearance, use a barrier or guard to prevent flying debris. Never touch the hydraulic components and hoses until the machine has had time to cool. Hydraulic fluid moving through the hydraulic lines can become hot enough to cause severe burns or poisoning. We recommend having a fire extinguisher suitable for petrol fires on hand whenever the machine is used. Never change engine factory settings to overspeed the engine. And never leave the machine running and unattended, even when it's parked. Always call 811 before you grind. If you don't, you may cause an accident, interruption of services, damage to the environment, or even hurt someone. Always call before you grind. Loading and transporting the machine. The best way to transport the stump grinder over roads is with the Beretto E4x6 TBT-3K-SG tilt bed trailer. Before you tow, be sure that the towing vehicle has a 2-inch, 5-centimeter ball mount which is in good repair and securely fastened. When loading, cross the chains under the trailer tongue to prevent it dropping to the road if the trailer comes loose. Never leave enough slack for the chains to drag on the ground or leave too little so it's drawn too tight. To load the 30SG, park the tow vehicle and attached trailer on level ground. Unlatch the trailer tilt bed latch pin and tip up the trailer bed. Position it where it will engage with the latch when the bed is leveled out. Line up the stump grinder with the rear of the trailer, with the cut head pointing toward the trailer. Drive the stump grinder forward slowly onto the trailer bed. As the weight of the grinder reaches the balance point, the bed will level out. Always keep yourself and onlookers out of the way of the machine and trailer as you drive it up. To attach the grinder, loop the front chain through the D-ring on the front of the machine and into the keyhole slot in the mount. Back up the grinder until the front chain is tight. Throttle down, shut off the engine, and close the fuel shutoff valve. Set the parking brake. Loop the rear chain through the loops on the rear of the machine and the rings on the trailer. Ratchet down the chains until they're tight. Never attach the tie-down load to the quick link. This feature is to prevent losing the chain when not in use. After you're done, make sure the tilt bed latch pin is engaged. If you're loading with a ramp or hoist, consult the owner's manual. Before you drive away, always attach a safety chain in a way that ensures it cannot come off accidentally. 
Allow for extra clearance around your vehicle and stop after a few blocks to check your load and retighten the hitch to the ball if loose. Unloading. Once you arrive on site, to unload the machine, always park the vehicle and trailer on level ground. Operating or unloading the grinder on uneven ground increases the danger of losing traction or rolling over. Remove all chains and straps. Start the engine, unlatch the trailer, and lock open the trailer tilt latch pin. Disengage the parking brake. Slowly drive the grinder backwards. The weight of the machine will tilt the trailer bed up as it crosses the balance point. Continue driving until the tracks are completely on the ground. If you need to jumpstart the engine or get emergency towing because it will not start, refer to the owner's manual for specific directions. Machine Controls Before operating, be sure you completely understand the machine controls. The keyed ignition switch is located on the engine and it is used to start and stop the engine. The throttle controls the engine speed. On the right of the control panel are the left and right track controls, which control travel direction and speed while driving the machine. And to the left of those track controls is the cutter wheel joystick, and it's used to manipulate the cutting head. The fuel shutoff valve is on the right-hand side of the engine. The parking brake is located behind the left-hand track motor. Move the handle down to engage the brake and up to disengage. Always do an assessment when you arrive on site. Look around for any conditions or obstructions that could block cutting or make operating the machine unsafe for anyone. Pay particular attention to electrical drop boxes, underground placement notices, manholes, signs of recent cutting, overhangs, drop-offs, rocks, tree limbs, wire, uneven terrain, and existing trenches or holes, or any toxic ground conditions. After doing an assessment, clear the area of debris, branches, and rocks to the best of your ability. If there is a source of sparks, flames, or flammable vapors nearby, do not operate. Before starting the machine, also inspect the machine to make sure nothing is worn or damaged. Replace parts as needed. Check and maintain the hydraulic oil, engine oil, and other fluid levels before you start it up. Make sure that the hydraulic fluid reservoir level is visible in the sight gauge. Failure to do so can cause serious damage to the hydraulic pump. Ensure that all safety guards and shields are in place. Never use the machine without them. Also, make sure equipment drive controls, if equipped, are disengaged before you start. To start the machine, turn the fuel shutoff valve to the on position. Pull the throttle lever to the slow position, signified by the turtle symbol. Pull out the choke. If equipped, turn the stop switch to the on position. Turn the electric start switch to the on position and fire it up. If you're starting in the cold or having problems starting, see the operator's manual for specific directions. Driving the machine. Before moving the machine, always raise the cutter head. Take hold of the track control with both hands. To travel forward, push them up. Pulling them down moves you in reverse. The speed increases the further the track controls are pushed or pulled from a neutral position. To steer the machine, push one handle farther than the other handle to increase the velocity of either track. This will cause the machine to pivot left or right, and a stationary pivot can be done by pushing one handle forward and pulling the other back. Always stay on level ground as much as possible. A 20-degree maximum incline is allowed. However, driving at any incline increases the possibility of losing traction or rolling over, especially if the ground is wet. When driving over an incline, turn gradually, and if at any time you lose control, immediately get out of the way. Avoid driving or operating next to drop-offs or embankments, and always use extreme caution when reversing the machine towards you. Operating the head. Move the machine into position to cut so that the head can swing across the edge of the stump. Open up the chip shield. Make sure the engine is at full throttle and start the cutter wheel. To raise or lower the head, pull back to raise it or push forward to lower it. Swing the head by moving the control lever left or right. To start the cutting wheel, hold down the thumb button on the control handle, then slowly pull the trigger. You can release the thumb after the wheel starts, but keep the trigger pulled. The cutter wheel will stop if you release the trigger. Lower down the head by pushing the cutter height control bar forward and start to grind. Slowly swing the cutter wheel across the edge of the stump by moving the control lever left to right. As you go, listen to the engine speed. Adjust the cut depth and swing speed if necessary so as to not overwhelm the engine and stall the wheel. After one pass is complete, 
Move the cutter wheel down into the stump no more than three quarters of an inch and repeat. Always cut from the edge and not the center of the stump. Continue making cuts down the edge until the stump is cut below ground level or the teeth are cutting below half the wheel radius. Depending on how wide the stump is, you may have to move the stump grinder itself. If necessary, move the machine forward and repeat the procedure until the stump is completely cut below ground level. Once the teeth are cutting at a depth below half the wheel radius, lift the cutter and move the machine forward to begin cutting a new edge. After the job is done, after grinding is complete and the head is disengaged, close the chip shield before driving away from the stump. Drive the machine back to the trailer and park on level ground. Lower down the cutting head, reduce the throttle to idle and turn off the ignition switch. Remove the key and close the fuel shutoff valve. Failure to close the shutoff valve could cause serious damage to your engine not covered by your warranty. Engage the parking brake. Always make sure the engine is off and completely cool before you touch the muffler, any hydraulic parts, or clean or maintain any part of it. Once cool, spray down the machine body and the cutting head. Once you're done cleaning, turn it back on and operate the controls to remove the water from any moving parts. Refueling, maintenance, and storage. To refuel the machine, shut off the engine and let it cool. Never refuel indoors or near a source of flames or sparks. Always do the necessary lubrication and maintenance required once you get back to the shop or, if necessary, in the field. Always make sure the engine is turned off before performing maintenance, cleaning, or transport by means other than under its own power. Consult the manuals for specific maintenance considerations, lubrication requirements, and safety precautions for performing maintenance on the battery. When storing the machine, never store with petrol in the tank inside a building where fumes can reach an open flame or spark. Also, never store the machine anywhere with any kind of vegetative material or excessive grease. For more information, visit www.barettomfg.com or consult your owner's manual.